The story of a people unfolds here in Southeast Ohio at America's National Afro-American Museum. Inside, you can walk through the recent history of the Civil Rights Movement, as well as see America from a different viewpoint. The surround mirror wall was done by a black artist uh, by the name of Dan Williams that tried to give uh, a photo, a visual of what life was like in the 50s in, the, in America from an African-American perspective. The mural shows a mostly white American mainstream that is slowly integrated as the 50s evolves into the 60s, and it emphasizes achievements. The achievements that African Americans have made, the impact that they've had on the entire country, and not just in the black community. Some of the exhibits also remind visitors of the pain and suffering that has been a part of trying to bring about racial equality in this country. Others are simple, but important symbols of African American life in the 50s and 60s, like a barber shop. Uh, the barber shop and the beauty shop were areas where people could come and, and uh, socialize as well. It was not only the business, but you could get local news and community news as well as worldwide news. This is a national museum, the only museum of its kind chartered by the U.S. Congress. The permanent exhibit is entitled From Victory to Freedom. In another gallery is an exhibit of inventions by African Americans that have played a part in all of our lives. Things like the ironing board, the ice cream dipper, a curtain rod, a juice squeezer, and even a potty chair for children. I just think it's amazing to keep all this history that sometimes we don't hear about, but when you come to this museum, you'll see it like, I didn't know this even existed. The National Afro-American Museum is open Tuesday through Sunday. And best of all, it's just a one-tank trip. I'm Neil Zerker, Ada's News in Wilberforce, Ohio.